AFK Journey is a new free-to-play role-playing game for your mobile device and PC, and it has launched globally. So if you want to download it, use the link down below. And if you have been walking around and wondering, hey, why does that guy have a fancy cape, a fancy sword, and an eye patch, and how do I do that to my avatar? Well, then this video is for you. And not only am I going to show you how to fully customize out your avatar and give it a cool look, but I'm going to actually give you my advice on the one purchase. If you were going to make one purchase in this game, what my advice would be. If you were going to spend $20 on this game, lifetime maybe once in your life if you were going to do that one thing right there's always that one purchase like if i was going to do one i'm going to tell you what that is because i know that's a common question everybody always asks that but first let me show you what's up with this avatar and how to unlock these various parts and what's going on with that so i got this on pc right now it's the same on your mobile phone though you go up here to the profile picture and once you've come into this screen okay then you're going to go over here to this uh, this avatar. Um, sorry, that's the pose setting. That's where you switch your pose. I clicked the wrong one. You go up top here. It's the close. Okay, well, that's how you switch your pose. If you want a cool pose, you know, maybe you want to look imposing or dignified. Yeah, dignified's good. All right, here's where you change your clothes. It's up here, up here with the clothing. And you're going to have some various looks to go through. Um, so you got some various default looks, but there's some locked ones, right? Now, these ones require you to reach VIP levels. Now, we're going to talk about that. Short answer is purchases, but I'm going to show you where it is so you can track it and whatnot. So these ones are paid. This one's coming soon. All right. In addition to that, we have some interesting add-ons here. We have some headwear, right? If you want to get the silly little hat, well, you got to reach a VIP level to get that. If you want to get the glasses, these are coming soon. I got a couple of parts here coming soon. I assume there's going to be a lot of stuff, you know, coming soon. Um, you unlock the steampunk goggles here at VIP level one. So that's just like making that one purchase, right? Um, Sword of Legacy. This you get from the secret travel log. I'm going to show you where the secret travel log is as well. Spoilers, we might buy it. Um, coming soon is this uh, Philosopher's Scroll. And now the cloaks, the cloaks you actually earn. So if you look at this cloak that I'm wearing here, the Dream Consciousness, you're going to get this by being in the top 21 to 50, 50 to 21 of Dream Realm. If you need help beating those Dream Bosses, I got videos on that on here. Some different compositions of characters that will help you beat those Dream Bosses. So check that out. It'll help you out with that. Uh, this cape, the, the, the fledgling night cloak, this is VIP level. We're going to have a look at that in a second. And then if you want the Master of Nightmares cloak, I know I do. Problem is you have to be in the top 10 for the dream realm to get that, which can be a little difficult. Um, that's something I have yet to achieve there. And then if you're in the top 20, you get this cloak. So the special cloaks here that look very, very cool, those are available by doing very well in the dream realm. Everything else is pretty much unlocked with VIP levels and the secret travel log. But like I said, I'm gonna show you that one purchase. Now we've also got some other stuff coming in soon. Um, there's a new hairstyle here that's for VIP level 10 and then they have some uh, some other hair that's coming soon I assume that as the game goes on there's going to be even more options that are unlockable that they're going to add in here um, But yeah, let me know if you're interested in that. I'm sure they're they're curious how how many uh, people are interested in that as well, but Let's go in here. Let's show you that purchase. So we're going to go to the trolley and if you look down here at the very bottom, uh, when you go into where you purchase dragon gems and whatnot, that's going to show you your VIP level and how much, you know, how many purchases you need to make to raise up that VIP level. And pretty much only buying stuff is going to do that. I actually don't know why I'm VIP level two on this account. I don't think I made any in-game purchases with this. So you might be able to get a few VIP points without making purchases. However, the primary way to raise up this VIP level 
is by spending money. Now, I don't typically recommend spending money on mobile games, but if you were going to buy just one thing, you know, what would you suggest I buy, Mr. Hartgrave? Because I'm going to get asked that, right? Everyone's going to ask that question. What's the thing you would buy? Well, it's none of this. Nothing in here. I wouldn't buy any of that stuff. The one thing I would buy, and I might have to hunt around for it here because I got it, they've, they've got it kind of hidden. It's a secret travel log. Okay. Yes, it's right up here on the Noble Path. So when you start playing the game, I think this is active for like 33 days. And this is kind of like the battle pass, right? The battle passes are always your best value in this game. And this is the thing I would recommend, okay? Uh, first off, I would recommend getting down, you know, close to the bottom of this. You know, you know, work, uh, play the game, get down to level 100. Make sure you can unlock everything before you buy it. You want to make sure you're playing the game enough to get the full value of it. But once you get down to level 100 and you unlock the secret travel log, uh, it, it's a pretty good value for what you get. And you can unlock it either for $10 or for $20. And the $20 level is going to get you that eye patch and that sword for your avatar as well. And uh, more importantly, maybe it's going to get you 10 envelopes too. Um, I think that the... Uh, the ten dollar value is is a plenty is plenty of value. You just want to unlock that other track. You just want to unlock this side track here. This is going to get you a ton of rewards on the side right here. That's the main thing you want to do. Uh, getting these bonus rewards is pretty good. You know, getting a few. I don't know if ten extra envelopes is quite worth an extra ten dollars. I actually don't find these cosmetics very worth it. I think that you're doing good, though, over here just on the secret uh, travel log. I wouldn't really recommend the legendary secret travel log unless you really, really need to pimp out your avatar, which if you're watching this video and you saw the picture on the thumbnail, you might need to do that. You might be like, you know what? It's worth 10 bucks, but for just or an extra $10, but for just $10, unlocking the secret travel log is actually a pretty big boost. It's probably the best purchase in the entire game. As long as you are, you know, committed to make it down to uh, level 100 on the Noble Path. As long as you do that, then this is hands down the best value in the entire game. So I'm happy I could share that with you. I want to share a lot of other tips with you on this channel. So make sure you like and subscribe. Check out the other videos in this playlist. And Grave Diggers, keep digging. He is I and die of him. And I, the undisputed trend, Matt Taven. And this dork behind the camera, some Melvin told me to say, Grave Diggers, keep on digging. Whatever that means. I am AEW wrestler and Ring of Honor tag champ, Mike Bennett. And remember, grave diggers keep digging, but not the monster truck. Even though my son really likes that monster truck, I kind of like son of a digger and zombie. I'm going off on a tangent about monster truck because my son really loves monster truck, but we're talking about the YouTube channel. So make sure grave diggers keep on digging, baby. So this is Mark doing one half of private party saying what up to the grave diggers and you doing your thing, bro. Alright, like, subscribe, and watch another video, or be cursed. Uh, if you're cursed, that means the grave diggers will keep digging your graves, so you probably want to do it.